All right, Barry. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Found you. <laughs> oh, you got me again. Yeah, sure you did. Hey, guys, what you guys doing? Oh, hi, Craig. We were just playing hide and seek, and uh, Barry won again. <laughs> hide sure and did. seek? Mm -hmm. Why did you guys invite me to play? You said you were busy. Oh, I was kind of busy. Uh -huh. I was busy making my new clock. Ooh, a clock? <laughs> yeah. That's not like any clock I've seen before. Well, that's because you use a digital clock that just tells you the time right there. That's a normal clock. Mm -hmm. Tell them how it works, Craig. Well, um, this is the clock. This is a face clock. Um, as you can face see, this clock. is the... What do you mean by face clock? Well... I don't see a face on it. It's a figure of speech, Barry. Oh. Um, basically, this is called the, the face of the clock. If you see, um, if you look at the clock, it is 615. See, there's a little hand pointing to the six and the big hand pointing to the... Wait, hands? I always see are those little arrows pointing at the numbers. Well, yeah, Barry, it's just a, another figure of speech. Um, it's not really a hand, like a hand. It's just an arrow pointing to the numbers, like a hand. Does oh. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Well... So then how do you know what time it is using those hands? <laughs> well... Like I said, this is 615 right now. And the little hand, the little arrow, <laughs> is pointing to the six. That is, the little hand tells what hour it is. So, if the little hand's pointing to the six, it is the hour of six. Yes, oh, there you go, baby. Okay, yeah, yes, that, there that's you go. easy, that's easy. The big hand is kind of a little bit more difficult. Uh -huh. It tells the minutes. And oh, right. in, in, in one hour, there is 60 minutes. Right. And the face of a clock represents 60 minutes. Okay. So the numbers on the face of the clock represent five minutes of, of those 60 minutes. Oh. So if the big hand's on the 12, the minute hand, the big hand's on the 12, that represents zero minutes because it's the start of the hour. And then if the big hand moves to the one, it's been five minutes. Do you understand? You understand? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, very. Well, if that's the case, then the number two would be five more minutes past the one. So it would be ten, ten. minutes. Yes, yeah, ten. yes, there you go. And it's like that all the way around the clock. Three would be 15 minutes. The big hand on the four would be, be 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Right? Yeah. The big hand on the five would be 25. 25. The six would be 30. 30. The seven would be 35. Five. The eight would be 40. Mm -hmm. The nine would be 45. 10, 50. 11, 55. And 12, 60. 60 or back to zero to start the new hour. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. All right, let's have a little test, guys. All right. If the little hand is on the eight, mm -hmm. And the big hand is on, oh, I don't know, let's say the five. What time do you think it is? Bernie, uh, what do you think? Well, that's easy. That would be, uh, that would be uh, 825, right? That is correct. Mm -hmm. As you can see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The five is 25 minutes. I'm That's still... how you tell time. Let's try it one more time. Barry, this is for you, okay? Uh, okay, yeah. I hope I get it right. Oh, you'll be fine. I'm going to make this a little difficult for you, Barry. Uh, okay. If the little hand is on the 11, and the big hand is on the 5, what time is it? Uh, little hand on the 11, mm -hmm. big hand on the 5. five. Yes. 11.25! Uh, that is right. <laughs> Way See, to go, it's not that hard, guys. Yeah. See, it's easy. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's cool. I know. Now you can all tell what time it is. Yeah, that's great. So that's does that mean uh, tomorrow when you guys play some uh, hide and seek, you guys want to maybe let me know by 11 o'clock? Uh, yeah, that would be when the short hand is on the 11 yes. and the long hand is on the uh, uh. 12. Yeah, yeah, the 12, right? <laughs> There you go, guys. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys around. Oh, yeah, bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. Say, you want to go write a letter to our friend Troy? Oh, sure, why not? I'm sure he's doing well. Yeah, it's a shame he had to move away. <laughs> you know, back on the farm, I used to make this sound for my brothers and sisters. <laughs> Eh, <laughs> eh,